snuck out today. <laughs> um, yeah, so eight tweets, four and a half stars. Uh, Jane and I built it along the lines of many of the properties that we used to stay in when we disappear on the weekends in the UK. Um, we, we, our, our year as far as our international travellers are concerned, we have what we refer to as the international season, which, um, which starts in around September and finishes at around April. Um, and that's when we receive most of our international guests. So Abbotsford, during that time, is predominantly um, a home for international travellers. And you'll find that uh, when you walk around, you'll see it's become, it becomes a bit of a haven for a lot of our guests, um, either at the beginning of their tour or at the end of their tour. And it's, well, for most of them, it's a real place to chill out and relax yeah. and unwind. Okay, let's go inside. Thanks very much. Oops, just open that door. Just open that door and we'll go through. Oh, wow. This is fabulous. Um, by the way, I need to introduce you to Cooper. He's the director of guest relations. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, mate. Uh, bring them all through, Janie. Right. Yeah, yeah all ready, water. They have to forgive my clothes are looking tired. They've been on the go since the program went into Ireland as well. So tomorrow I actually lose a flower farm on the Natalie Hill. I'm going to try that. Eight suites, 16 guests all up. Um, the vast majority of our guests um, are like-minded travellers. They, uh, and that's one of the reasons why we have a communal table. Uh, because they, are, they love travelling, they love sharing stories, they love meeting people, uh, and uh, the communal table almost brings out that opportunity to share things and and uh, share stories. A lot of our guests uh, start their South Australian journey uh, with us. They've, uh, over the years, what we've found is a lot of agents have worked out that most of their clientele, they live in cities, they work in cities, um, and when they come away, the last thing they want to really be doing is staying in the city. So, and because we're only an hour's drive from Adelaide Airport, they hop in that car and whiz them their way up here. And they spend, on average, at the moment, they spend 2.4 nights at Abbotsford. It did get up to 2.9 at one point. They want to get out and start that process of finding the gems that we have here in South Australia. The, the main homestead is really divided up into two areas, the dining room through here, and then the lounge through there, and it's never locked. <laughs> my apartment was Spring Valley Terrace Morningside and my parents lived up at, just up at Churchill. Maximum 16 guests. That will go out, yes. 16. Um, oh, there's a drawing pin still from Christmas. Huh. <laughs> from Christmas card. Shut eyes on your hand. Look at the stars. I guess one of the features of the deluxe suites is that their en suites have double showers in them. Locally, here in the valley, um, you know, lovely, lovely dressing gowns. Uh, they all have an element of individuality to them as well. You don't feel like you're staying in a uh, in a manufactured environment. Um, The en suites have either a spa bath or a cast iron corporal bath with a separate shower. They're all around 36 square metres in size. Comfy enough without being as if you feel like you're paying for something with lines. So, yeah. Um, we have that international season. Yeah. Uh, and during that, one of the things that 
we really pride ourselves on is the amount of effort that we put into into the maintenance of our property. Um, and we are constantly refreshing. Um, we're in the process now of actually recarpeting them as well. So eight years down the track and they're thinking, why do you need to recarpet this? Um, it's what we do, you know, we just keep reinvesting and reinvesting and reinvesting. Oh. And reinvesting. Back to the world.